Hi guys, welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm here to do your collective reading for February. We're going to start this, we're going to kick this thing off, okay? We're going to see what you're not expecting in February to happen in your love life, okay? So let's see what comes up for you. Spirit, give me some cards, please, for what my um, viewer is not expecting to happen in their love life in February, please. Give me some cards. The star card. Five of wands, okay. Six of swords, okay. Three of wands. This is coming in very soon for you, okay. So ships are coming in or something's happening in the future sense with this three of wands. The star card, I do feel like you're in a healing phase, okay. Or this is just you actually going for what you want in life. Like you have your goals set on possibly being this certain person or wanting a certain goal of yours to come true. So you're going to actively start working towards it. But maybe it took a period of reflection or healing with the star card because you always had this goal in mind, but you weren't able to pursue it in the past because of, you know, different things for different people. There's so many people I'm speaking to right now. It could have been maybe you went through a breakup or maybe, you know, you're switching jobs or maybe you had just moved to another city or something like that. You know, there could be so many reasons why you weren't able to be focused on this goal of yours or this wish fulfillment of yours with the star card. OK, but moving into February, you will be focused on this star energy. And I also feel like you're going to be a star. There's going to be a lot of people having their eye on you in February. OK, now. Five of Wands. What you're not expecting is... <laughs> I'm nervous to even say this because some of you guys are going to be like, oh, no. No, I rebuke that. I don't want to deal with this. No. There's a lot of people here sitting here. Here's you, okay? I see this as you. I see this as people, different people in your life, okay? This can be friends, but this can also be lovers. These are people who have some type of bond to you or tie to you for whatever reason. It's like everybody's sitting around here trying to figure out what went wrong with you in February. I don't know if this is past exes, lovers, right? Where it's like, damn, what happened with my person here? Like, you know, like people are going to really have you on their mind and they're really going to be thinking how can I get your attention because you are the star so maybe a lot of people are going to have their eyes on you wanting to this is like friends and I'm seeing family and I'm also seeing lovers okay so a lot of people want to move forward with you in February all right here goes that um six of swords energy where it's like okay people want to heal and move forward into a better place with you but you don't really have trust for these people okay because this card this card always reminds me of the seven of swords where it's like you know i don't trust you so you know you know how that goes all right so which i guess what you're not expecting in february to happen is a lot of people trying to come and move forward with you in a positive way even if someone's not trying to get back together it's like they just want to be on your good graces for some reason i don't know or that could be their like that could be what they're trying to say. Like, oh, I'm not looking. I know we're, we'll never get back together, but I just want to make sure we're on a good place. You know, I don't know. <laughs> Let's get into this reading. It's going to get juicy. I'm not going to use this deck. I'm going to use this deck. My old trusty deck right here. We're going to get really juicy. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. All right, give me the star card, please. Give me the star card for, you know, what they're not expecting to happen. What's the star card? Okay, give me the star emperor in reverse okay and also has the two of cups here interesting huh someone here has their eye on you who they they feel like they no longer have um a hold on you with the emperor in reverse whoever this person is could be a aries energy with the emperor in reverse or it doesn't have to be an aries just someone who used to be able to it's kind of like someone used to know exactly what you're doing at this time, they could contact you anytime. They know you're going to pick up. They can come see you whenever, even at nighttime, okay, two of cups, and you would be there. But it's like someone no longer has this hold on you, the emperor in reverse, and they definitely have their eye on you. You see, there you go, the star. Someone's like, doesn't matter where they are in the world, doesn't matter what they're doing, they always are thinking of you, and they're also rem reminiscing about this energy that you guys used to have. 
So someone's over here is really thinking about that. They're thinking about healing energy with the star card when it comes to you. Like, hmm, I wonder if we could heal this. I wonder if we could start fresh again, you know? It's almost like someone wants to get back to this Ten of Cups with you if they had that previously. Or they're envisioning this with you, okay? Someone really has you on their mind. All right, so what's this Emperor in Reverse? Tell me about this Emperor in Reverse. Is this you or this someone else? Whoever this Emperor in Reverse is, if this is you or if this is someone else, they can't move forward. Like, they're kind of stuck right now, Eight of Swords. Someone's very much um, stuck in this energy. This song right here, Summertime in Paris, okay? This song does go, it goes like, um, summertime is made to fall in love. <laughs> yeah. So maybe someone's thinking about you in a lover's aspect. Like they're like, okay, like it's not summertime, but February is like spring energy, right? And it's like someone could be thinking future wise. Like, I don't know, whatever. That's what's playing right now. Hold on. The part's about to play. Let me see if I can play without getting copyrighted. Hold on. All right. All right, anyway. <laughs> Let's see. What's the Emperor in Reverse? Tell me about this Emperor in Reverse even further. Okay. We have the Death card here, but it's a positive energy, right? It's like changes. Someone is like, okay, something could have ended between you and this person in the past. And it's like moving forward, they... They want to move forward in a positive way. Someone also had to make a lot of changes about themselves, possibly to be a more positive person. Maybe someone did have control issues with that emperor, but they're kind of like giving that up now, wanting to wish upon a star or thinking of you in some way, okay? What's this Two of Cups doing here? Ooh, not the Four of Wands, Two of Cups, honey, okay? When I see the Two of Cups and this energy, it's like we've been here before, you know? That's what I'm getting. And even with the four of wands in this energy, it's like we've been here before. It's like you're seeing the perspective from back then. So somebody's thinking about how you guys used to be back then and it was kind of perfect. Even if it wasn't perfect, that's how someone is seeing it. Like, damn, we were perfect back then, you know, when things were good. Okay. Okay. Someone's thinking about that. They're like seven of cups in reverse, you know, damn, missed opportunity. Okay. I could have had it all. Adele energy. We could have had it all. Ten of Pentacles. Clarify this Four of Wands. Oops. Jeez. All right. Will of Fortune. So things are changing for this person, whoever this person is, or for you, depending on how the story goes. But someone's not having such a, a hot time right now. Okay. It's not hot for them right now. Okay. Um, and they don't really want to express themselves. It's like whoever this person is, literally whoever this person is, they're the emperor in reverse. Think about that. If someone's large and in charge all the time and then they come around and then they're like this, it's like the people around them is going to be like, hey, emperor, what's going on with you? Why are you acting so weird? Why you're not acting like yourself? This person's response is no response. They don't want to open up about it. Why? Because the only reason that they're feeling the emperor in reverse, not in control, not large and in charge, is because they're thinking about you in this way. So it's like someone doesn't even want to communicate their feelings to of swords. They're not having such a hot time. You know, this is like the will of fortune, but it's like the other side of the will of fortune. Think about this heavy rock as the will of fortune. You know, you always want to be on top of the will. You never want to be on the bottom where you're going to be rolled over. That's how someone's feeling right now. Okay. And then we have the temperance card here. Someone's feeling not so balanced in their life because this is the temperance. Her back is, or his back is turned. Okay. Sagittarius energy you could be dealing with the Sagittarius or you could be a Sagittarius or a Leo. Okay. Also, Gemini with this eagle. Now, let me tell you something. I don't know why I'm getting Gemini energy for this eagle, but I'm getting like, I'm hearing like a bird speaking and I feel like Gemini's rural communication. So it could even be Gemini energy watching or you're dealing with one. Okay. Two of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. But um, yeah, someone's not feeling too balanced right now in their life. They feel kind of incomplete and they feel like it's because of this. You know, this Two of Cups energy, they don't have their right hand man or woman with them, okay? All right, let's see. Do I have my... Hold on. Ooh, it's cold in my room, guys, so... 
it's like my nose is always running so just give me a, a minute <laughs> okay i think that should be okay Sorry about that. It's just really cold in here. So my nose is always running. All right. So now we have the five of one. So this may be more than one person feeling this way. Because look, this doesn't just have to be um, lover's energy. This could also just be like friend's energy as well. Like maybe you have a friend here. And it's like, this is how they're feeling towards you. Um, we have I Know. Okay, that song is by like Big Sean and Janae Aiko. I don't know what Big Sean is, but I know Janae is a Pisces, but um, it's like, I don't know. You know that these people feel this way for you. You know that they're kind of like struggling a little bit. What's the five of wands doing here? All right, star card again, star card again, star card again. Okay, I'm really seeing, who is this emperor? Okay, let's talk about it. <laughs> Who's this person who's always large and, and in charge, right? It's like they're not feeling this way. I really feel like this emperor is like kind of like this person right here. That's crazy, right? Because an emperor would never be on their knees. <laughs> but I definitely feel like, you know, that's how they're feeling. It's like roles are being reversed here in this energy. It could even be friendship, right? Maybe you have a friend who's kind of like the star of the group or like always large and in charge, what they say go, or they're the ones who always make the master plan. Someone's feeling like... They're looking for you for direction, okay? Page of Cups. Someone wants to open up about their feelings in a very genuine way, but they feel, I don't know, someone doesn't really, like, being the emperor, whoever this person is, it's like you're not someone who usually opens up to people or doesn't really express their emotions. So if you do have a friend like this, that's th definitely the friend we're talking about, who you you never really hear this person express their feelings or if they're sad. You never seen this person cry. This could also be a lover, okay? Clarify the star card, please. Someone wants to communicate with you so badly, but they see being vulnerable as like a nightmare. You see this? This looks like a nightmare, right? Someone sees being vulnerable as a nightmare. Like, I don't want to tell, you know collective my feelings i just want to keep it hidden i don't want to really like tell them how i feel you know even though this person is the king of cups or the queen of cups they have a lot of feelings to share okay what's the page of cups doing here they just want to communicate this to you but they feel like i don't know also, I see this as you, Collective. Like, you're always there to hear this person out. Even if this person wasn't the best to you in the past, you're always here to hear their feelings. You would never turn this person away if they were to open up to you. But it's like someone just can't show up for it. That's like their worst nightmare is being vulnerable, okay? But Page of Wands, you will be hearing communication from them soon enough, okay? Page of Wands, Messenger Energy, you will hear some kind of um, inclination. I don't think it'll be very emotional because Page of Wands is not like Page of Cups. Even though we have the Page of Cups here, but the back is turned. But the Page of Wands, I feel like someone's just kind of expressing themselves, but not through emotions, more so through just communication. <laughs> like, it's kind of like someone's communicating. You can tell something's off with them. Five of Wands energy, right? So expect this in February, I guess. This is what you're not to expect. Let's go deeper. What's the Three of Pentacles? What are they going to say to my collective? Ooh, the magician. Okay. They're ready to take action on something that they've been wanting for a long time. What is this? Six of Wands. It's a victory. So, hmm. What is this, though? Like, I don't understand. It's like somebody wants to get back to their usual selves. I feel like this person is usually someone who doesn't shy away from being, like, in a spotlight or being the emperor or the one who's in control. It's like they want to get back to that, but they can't for some reason. What's the reason for that, please? Seven of Swords. Okay, they've been... They haven't been their authentic selves for some time. So this could even be how someone communicates to you or maybe... I don't know. Someone's been kind of like not saying what needs to be said and been acting very shifty or weird, not communicating the best. I don't know what this is. 
I really don't know what this is. I'm because I'm thinking about a friendship, but also a relationship could be friendship as well, right? Where it's like someone's used to being the leader, but it's like maybe they've been looking at you as the leader or looking at you for inspiration and they just can't say it. Because I don't know, something about their ego. And that's why they've been acting really shifty towards you, but they just want to open up. They just want to tell you their real feelings. But part of them feels like they won't be this emperor or this empress energy if they were to open up to you. Clarify this Eight of Wands in reverse. They really want to like express their emotions to you, but I don't know what this is. It's a, like a pride thing to for this person. It's very prideful this person is. Hmm. I don't know what to say. I'm going to keep pushing forward. It's very, I don't know. It's like someone doesn't want to give you control because maybe you seem like your life is in control right now because you live authentically and someone wants to be that, but they're so afraid to be that person. So they just kind of hold back from saying how they really feel or what they want to do or asking you for advice or telling you their true feelings. I don't know what this is. It's kind of confusing. What's this? Um, what's the Six of Swords doing here? But this person wants to move forward into their truth. And you're a big part of that for some reason. Let's see why. Five of Pentacles, okay. Also feel like you, you caught on to this person not being their authentic selves, kind of being someone that they're not. And you've put, pulled away from this person because of that. You kind of left this person in the cold. Because of that, this could also be the Wheel of Fortune where it's like maybe someone did this to you in the past because I'm really getting like a very weird energy, like a childish energy. Like maybe you're in school. Okay, let me tell you what's in my head. <sighs> Being in school and you have this like best friend, right? And you guys just share the same hobbies and whatever. But when the popular kids come around... <laughs> This is so childish. When the popular kids come around, this person switches up and they act like the popular kids. But really, this person has a lot of fun in, in their authentic selves being with you. But it's like someone really cares. Okay, there we go. Someone really cares about what others, others think of them. You don't, though? So somebody wants to talk to you about this, but they feel weak. It's kind of like, okay, someone who's very, like, considered very popular, large and in charge, emperor energy... And they come to you and they're like, you know, I kind of want to be like you. Like, you don't care what people think and you seem to be very happy. But they also feel like by professing this or confessing, professing, that's not a word, is it? Okay, by confessing this, um, it, it makes them weak in some way. So it's like somebody wants to move forward, like, okay. And then I also feel like you you used to be that person who would just check on this person, like always be there. But then you started catching on to how this person would like act weird around the popular kids, right? And you're like, okay, fuck out of here. Because I don't even like those popular kids. Like you could be with them. Have fun. Sayonara, bitch. Okay. <laughs> and this person now is like, okay, I want to move forward with you because you live authentically. I want to be just like you. I want to be authentic and be happy with you. But I feel like you've dissed me and I don't feel like I belong with these people. But I feel like you won't let me in too. Very weird. But I also feel like it's the will of fortune. Like someone did this to you. It's like when I'm with my friends or my popular friends or whatever, I'm not hanging out with you. So somebody already kind of gatekeeped you from this energy. And now it's like you didn't tell this person they're not invited, but you just said, I'm not no longer going to beg for you to be invited in my energy. Sorry for the childish energy, but I do get childish vibes from whoever these people are because it's more than one person. And that's why I keep bringing up um, friendships too because not only are you going to have people who are friends who are doing this to you coming towards you in February you're also going to get lovers past exes or an ex that's going to come towards you who was doing this to you as well it's no fun pretending that's what I'm getting it's no fun pretending to be someone that you're not because that shit gets old Okay, so so what's the Six of Swords, please? What's the Six of Swords? Let's go deeper. Queen of Cups. Okay, so in reverse, though. So someone feels like you're not going to... Um, you're not going to be open to them. You're gonna... You're very... 
kind, nurturing, loving person to this person. Whenever this person does come to you when they don't really like what's going on with that group that they were so, you know, trying to be, you know, um, impressed, you would always be an open hearted person towards this person. But it's like now you're kind of like this. And I don't feel like you're going to tell this person, oh, five of pentacles, you know. I don't feel like you're going to push this person and just make them feel rejected. I don't feel like you're going to do that. But you know what else I feel? This person, because they weren't accepting this and just... I won't say they weren't accepting it. It was like, um, it's very childish energy and I, I just can't grasp myself around it. It's like someone wasn't appreciating of this. So now you're like this. Also, the Queen of Cups, King of Cups in reverse is an envious energy. Am I saying that you're envious towards this person and whoever these peers are? No, I don't think that these peers can stand up to the person you were to this person. I think you were envious that this person was giving such genuine fun, open, loving energy towards these people that they didn't even connect with. I don't think that you are an envious person. I just think that naturally came. Envy is natural, right? Where it's like it naturally came because it's like I'm being so loving and open to this person. I'm allowing them to be their true selves and I don't judge. And this person keeps shitting on me. I think that's where that Queen of Cups or King of Cups in reverse comes from. It's like you're not a jealous of these people that they're hanging out with. You're more so just jealous of the attention and the love that they give that per these people that have no, they don't have their best interest. That's, you know, it's just natural. Okay. What else for the um, Seven of Swords? I'm sorry. Six of Swords. Four of Cups, okay? So rejection, this person's so afraid to be rejected by you when they come towards you because they did this to you in the past, okay? Um, judgment card, they just want a second chance here, but they're very, very nervous that you're going to reject them or that you're going to treat them how they treated you. You know what I'm saying? What's the Four of Cups doing here? But they're going to come in anyway. You're going to receive some unexpected conversations from... I would say random people, but they're not random people in your life. But to me, from the outside looking in, they look random, but they're not random people. These are people that you actually um, shared really good memories with. And it's like they weren't, I, I don't know. I don't know. With the spiritual community, it's like, because um, I'm getting that's what it was. Like maybe you just stood in your truth because you went through your dark times. You went through being judged and you just don't care what people think. You're going to live your life that's best to you. Somebody wants to follow in that footsteps, but they really do care about what people think. This is someone who has a lot of um, eyes on them, emperor energy, okay? And it's like, I don't want people to judge me and they could have been scared. I think this person is rushing in towards you. You're going to be very surprised, but it's more than one person. I have to keep like pushing that out there. It's more than one person here, okay? So I'm going to get the last words. We're going to do an extended. I want to see what the outcome is going to be between you and these people in February. So if you're interested for that, we're going to see what that's going on. Hopefully this made sense because... I kept getting just childish energy and I feel bad saying that because I don't even want to judge anyone and I'm not judging anyone. But I did feel like a, like a, you know, you can't hang with us vibe, you know? I don't know. It's weird. All right. So let's just get the last words. Last words, please. Last words for my collective with this energy in February. You will get these people trying to come back into your life, wanting to hang with you, wanting to be with you, wanting to see how you look so unbothered and how so, you know, learn from you how to be happy with being your true self or their true selves and they will want to be back in your energy. I don't know. Let's see. I'm getting a lot of cards because since this is a collective reading, um, I want to be able to touch everyone who's watching, okay? So I'm going to get a lot of cards here. All right, one more. There we go. Bottom of the deck says pushing you away. So these people could have pushed you away, you know, previously, but now they're going to be trying to pull you close, okay? These people could be fantasizing about you, thinking about you throughout the day, you know, missing what they had with you, how the love that you used to share with these people. 
I love how you laugh. You and this person, you and this person or these people would have genuine moments of happiness, laughs, making like you. I also feel like you're very funny to this person, like um, or they could be very funny to you. It's like what you said would make this person really laugh. Now I do feel like someone was acting too cool for school. So even if you would text someone a funny joke and joke with them, it's like they wouldn't respond like they were laughing, but deep down inside they were like bursting with tears, okay? <laughs> Plotting against you is the seven of swords energy. So someone was definitely not to be trusted in the past because they were acting very shady because of the individuals that were around them that they were interested in impressing or keeping close to them. You know, you are you know that that um saying you are what you eat i say you are who you keep you know who you keep around you okay miserable without you this person okay also you could feel this way too all right car secrets okay something with someone's car and what you guys used to do in the car or someone something is like it's a secretive i don't know i don't know okay i'm not gonna even try to sexy haircut slash hairstyle i don't know how your hair is looking right now or for february yeah february is now i don't know how your hair is looking right now but somebody likes it okay or someone's new haircut hairstyle you like i want to change for you okay i want a family with you interesting struggling inside okay I'm too good to you slash for you. That for you hits hard because I do feel like someone was thinking that in the past. And it's like, who are you? Like, I don't know who these people think they are. Do they think they're Zeus or Apollo? Like, you're not a god. We're literally one of the same. We bleed the same. Like, calm down. All right, pizza. Maybe you and this person have a memory over some pizza or Italian food. Maybe, like, first date I'm getting or maybe even... They will ask you to go have some pizza with them or Italian. Police slash law enforcement, okay. Maybe if someone listened to you, they wouldn't have gotten caught up with the police. Um, what else? You could be dealing with the police or law enforcement individual. Someone is in and out of jail. Who knows, okay. Under the bed, okay. So maybe you still have something of this person's. They still have something of yours in their home. Someone hasn't thrown it away. It's like forgotten about, but someone's going to see it. Maybe you're pulling something out of your closet. Or maybe you're going into like a room that you don't ever go into. And you're seeing something of this person. It's like you're literally going to revisit something of someone's. Or they're going to be doing this with something of yours. And it's going to trigger something. We have, I know you will hurt me. Okay, so this person too. When you met this person, you knew that they were going to break your heart or hurt you. You know this person was going to switch up or they felt this way about you. I don't know. We also have hiding my feelings, okay? Um, we have happy birthday, Aquarius vibes, Capricorn vibes, um, Pisces vibes. Um, something could have happened around your birthday as well. What else do we have here? Leave me alone. Interesting. All right, I'm going to just do an extended for this. If you're interested and you want to know what the outcome is going to be between you and these people or this person in February, then you can follow me in the description box down below. I love you guys so much. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.